Hi guys! Today on What I Ate Wednesday, I am facing my fears. Well, some of my neurotic food fears, that is. A few videos ago, I asked you guys for some less noisy breakfast ideas and a few of you suggested overnight oats. To be honest, the idea scared me because I hate it when my hot oatmeal goes cold. I imagined that overnight oats would be slimy and gross. But recently, Janelle from York and Spoon posted a pear and walnut cardamom oats recipe that sounded so good. That and your comments convinced me to give it a go. I combined fresh made cashew milk with chopped apples since I didn't have any pears. I left out the walnuts, added dates for sweetness, oats, chia seeds, and a pinch of cardamom. Made a wish and put it in the fridge for the morning. Guess what guys, it was nothing like I expected. No sliminess, only deliciousness. The dates pretty much dissolved, sweetening the whole thing up. For some chewy texture, I added some cranberries too. So good guys, I will definitely make this again. Be sure to check out York and Spoo's video as she includes lots of suggestions and tips too. For lunch, I conquered another fear. I had bought a few kinds of instant ramen from this company, Lotus Foods. I already tried one and actually thought it was kind of gross, hence me being afraid of the other ones. But I'm glad I tried it because the noodles themselves were actually really good. I like the chewiness of them. Not too stiff, not too soft, just right. Just really, really nice noodles. You just have to try them. The prepared broth was not my favorite though, so next time I'll skip these individual instant ramen noodle packages and get the plain noodles instead. For dinner, I had these carrots and dip. And this amazing collection of handmade vegan cheeses by Glow Foods, a small one-woman company based in Banff, Alberta, which is a small mountain town near Calgary. I used to live there too. I bought these as a birthday present to myself as I had been dreaming about these ever since I tried them at someone else's birthday party. I'll be posting a full review of them soon on my blog so everyone can salivate over them. Not a balanced meal by any stretch of the imagination, but it's my birthday week. No regrets, my friends. So, what vegan deliciousness did you guys get up to? Let me know in the comments below. Also, let me know if you've had overnight oats before and what your favorite flavor combinations are. Thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and share it with your friends, especially those who think we eat nothing but rabbit food. Bye for now.